Hello and welcome to the first snow report of the brand new decade. Welcome to the Roaring Twenties. I hope you all had a fantastic new year. Uh, welcome to 2020. And uh, yeah, as I say, the first snow report of a brand new decade. So uh, here we are. It is Friday the... Um, Third, I've just checked that, I should know. Friday the 3rd of January. We're at the, well, the mid station of the Jovenso chairlift is just behind me. Chichi's restaurant just down there. That gives you an idea of where we are. So, so Sportinia is off in that direction. Um, and yeah, okay, well, it's been a fantastic week. It has really been a, a great week for the people who've been out here. It has been busy. We, we are still in the throes of uh, the Italian holidays. They finish uh, on the 6th of uh, January, which is uh, next Monday, I believe. It is next Monday. So potentially um, it's going to be busy obviously over the weekend and we could have a few uh, Italians hanging on until Monday because it's a bank holiday over here. So if you are out uh, next week, Monday could be a little bit busier than, than normal. But then after that, it should be quiet and we'll have the peace to ourselves again. It'd be absolutely superb. But I think those people who've been out this week have had a really good week. We've had uh, this high pressure, which has been over us all week. It's brought some settled weather, so it has been a little bit warmer, but certainly we've had no wind, everything's been open, we've had beautiful clear blue skies. Today, well actually in that direction, it is still blue, but over here we've got a few high clouds, um, and the wind is picking up today. We're going to have a bit of wind over the weekend as well, uh, but then so far the forecast for next week looks like we're going to have another settled week, uh, so not too much wind around. Sometimes, yeah, uh, occasionally we'll have the, the high the high clouds like we've got today. Um, but overall, we're in for another glorious week. On the lower slopes, uh, there are a few icy patches appearing, um, but not too much to concern yourselves with, I wouldn't have said. Um, plus also, uh, the fact that it's going to be a lot quieter next week means that um, the snow will last uh, a little bit better than it has done. Starting next week, we have the Moncrons meet and greet again. So come along on uh, Tuesday night. If you are here next week, come along Tuesday night. We'll uh, be in Moncrons from 5.30. Um, is it 5.30 or 5? 5.30, yes. The missus is saying 5.30. So it's 5.30 uh, in Moncrons. Um, for a couple of hours we'll be there, so come along. Grab your helmet stickers. We have new helmet stickers for this year. Uh, slightly different... Um, design from last year so if you're collecting your helmet stickers come and see us on tuesday we'll have a new stock for you um and then on wednesday new for this year we're having an apre ski party Woohoo! um so the apre ski party is going to take place up in sportinia um at la capanina we'll be there from about four o'clock i guess um it's a ticketed job because we we will be getting skidoos back down so if you're interested in joining us for the inaugural Sousy Online Apre Ski Party this Wednesday. Come and see us in Moncrons on Tuesday. Um, the tickets will be 10 euros, but that does get you the skidoo ride back down after we've drunk the bar dry. <laughs> um, but also it gets you a free drink as well, and it's a drink of your choice. So if you want a pint, grab a pint. If you want an Aperol Spritz, grab an Aperol Spritz. If you want a glass of wine, you get the idea. So you get one free drink and then the skidoo ride back down. Uh, for 10 euros and you'll get a couple of hours partying with myself and Sinead we'll be dancing on tables we'll be doing all sorts we'll be having a football game with a big blow up ball and all sorts where are we getting an inflatable football from? no idea <laughs> um, anyway so if you're interested come along to Moncrons we'll give you some more information but that's happening next Wednesday we've got some stag do's coming out uh, on Sunday I believe we've got the first one is Josh uh, you're coming out on your stag do uh, you, your dad Grant has asked me to say hello to you so we've got Josh's stag do uh, we've got um, Alex Ali Woods Charlotte and Andy uh, and they're all coming out for Ali's stag do apparently also next week so a couple of stag do's um, We've got a big hello and a big happy birthday to Dan, who is 21 today from Leicester. Up the Tigers, there we go. Uh, no, not uh, that's rugby, isn't it? Uh, Foxes, that's the football. Right, okay. And then um, we've got Elsie, who's coming back, uh, or is she, I think she's already back uh, with her mum, Helen, and dad, Chris. Uh, hello, Elsie. Also, hello to um, uh, Wynne and Alison. We met you on. Uh, New Year's Eve it was, wasn't it? Yes, New Year's Eve in Moncrons. We met uh, Wynne and Alison from Cardiff and they also had somebody else with them. And I struggle to pronounce his name, but I'm going to give it a go. Uh, da, is it... Is it Daff Fid or Dav? 
David, is it? Dav. <laughs> Dav. Who? David, maybe? Dav. D A V, not Daf. Dav. Dav. I don't want to. Don't want to insult the Welsh nation, but I am making a right fix here of this. Um, I think it's Daf. Fifth. Daffith. Dav. You think it's Dav? Yeah. I think it's Daf. Oh well. Like daffodil. That's Welsh. Dav. Daf. Daffith. There we go. If I've pronounced it wrong, which I'm sure I have, I do apologise, and I mean no, no, um, uh, certainly no insult to the Welsh nation. So, uh, but anyway, that's it um, from me. I shall see you next week. Oh, just one more shout out. We've got uh, Mitch and uh, David and Steve, uh, regulars of Sousey. They're coming out next week. Can't wait to see you guys. Have a few beers with you. But uh, yeah, there we go. See you later.